Software Engineer by R.J. Bailey. Chapter 1. What do they do? Do you like computers? Would you like to use them to solve new problems? Become a software engineer. Software tells computers what to do. It is why video games have great graphics. It is how your car's GPS knows the way home. It is why smartphones can do so much. Computers have changed the world more than almost any other technology, but they can't do anything without people. People write software to make them work. These people are software engineers. Did you know a new industry is creating jobs for software engineers? What is it? Self-driving cars. These cars are safer. They save energy too. Who knows? You may never have to learn how to drive. Chapter 2. Building Software Software engineers work closely with the people who will use what they make. First, they ask questions. They find out what people need the software to do. Design is the second step. They plan how the software will address people's needs. The third step is creating the software. In this step, software engineers write code. These instructions tell a computer what to do. They use a programming language. There are many such languages. Each is suited to a different kind of task. Now the software is written, what happens next? It is tested. Does it meet people's needs? Does it work correctly? Sometimes software has problems that keep it from working correctly. These problems are called bugs. Bugs can be hard to find. Software engineers work together to find the error. They review the code, they make changes, then they test it again. They do this until they fix the bug. After a successful test, the software is ready. Finally, software engineers maintain software. Sometimes they change it too. They might add new features. They might make it easier to use. Take a look. Computers are everywhere. Look, all these things have computers in them. Cars, gaming systems, airplanes, cell phones, washing machines, drones. Software engineers work in offices. Some work in labs. They may travel to meet with customers. They often work nights or weekends to finish big projects. Because they work in teams, communication skills are important. Did you know to work as a software engineer, you need STEM skills? What does STEM stand for? Science, technology, engineering, math. STEM careers are in demand. They pay well too. Chapter three, becoming a software engineer. Do you want to be a software engineer? Take computer classes, do puzzles. They will help you learn problem solving skills. Learn a programming language. Join your school's robotics club. It's a fun way to learn code. To work in the field, you'll want a college degree. Most people study software engineering or computer science. It helps to get some job experience while in school. Many companies offer internships. This will give you real world knowledge. It will make finding a job after college easier. As a software engineer, you can shape the future. How? You can make software for self-driving cars. You can make exciting video games. You can help program new kinds of robots. The possibilities are endless. Try this. Run a simple program. Sort your classmates by height. Get three or more friends to stand in a line next to one another, then follow these steps to run the program. Start with the pair of people on the far left if the person on the left is taller than the person on the right, then swap the left and right person. Advance to the pair immediately to the right and repeat for each pair until you reach the end of the line. Go back to the leftmost pair and repeat these steps until no one needs to swap positions. You have just run a sorting program. A computer would follow the same procedure if it were to sort numbers. There are many ways to sort. Some are faster than others. This one is called bubble sort because the largest object bubbles to the top.